Good evening, YouTube. Kate Lord back again with episode three of uh, season one of Galaxy Adventures. And we're going to be joining back to the Van R uh, campaign mission. So we're continuing with the build with that one. So we're going to go ahead, load up, and dive on back into the build. So, as always, my comments are open, my comments are live, so please feel free to. Uh, leave a line. All right, so load up. So, as you can see, we're trundling along just nicely. So, if we zoom in a little bit, so as you can see, we're building quite nicely. We've got everything set up that we need to so far. So, we're going to expand out and uh, we're going to get some more farms on the go. We're probably going to need some, well, I don't think we're going to need some more power on the go. But we're definitely going to need uh, to increase food production and water production and increase storage. So, now if you like this uh, particular content or you like this style of game then feel free to uh, drop a like on the video if you want to see more episodes from maven colony and, and all the colonies that i'm going to be building over the next few uh, episodes in this series well then why not consider subscribing hit that notification button turn it to the bell so that when i go live again you'll never miss another episode so we're going to try and keep this simple um so if you guys were if you guys want to follow this you don't have to do it the same way i do but it'll give you some ideas of what you could you know the way you could possibly set it out so with that let's continue with the build all right so we've got a new mission so our current missions are add another four structures reach population count of 300 and now we've just had a new one delivered so we're going to find out what that one is hello chief I have a new opportunity for you. Okay, so it says manufacture 500 Xeno Glow. All right, so if we go to the research center, hit the research tab. Okay, so Xeno Glow. I need Xeno Sage. I've got three. Oh, I mean, I've got none in the colony. Yet I can make it. So if I take that away, I can concentrate on making this one. So if we change one of our farms or greenhouses to uh xeno sage oh no 60 percent oh okay car respawns all right so if we have one of the farms then so if we have it as that that should give us some half decent uh, crops to work with all right so we've got an over we have an air pollution problem which we need to find okay so everything is in green apart from up here by the geothermal which just happens to be yellow so what we're going to do is we're going to hot press and hold r2 again to bring up our build menu and we're going to go over to the wind icon which is air management so now we're going to pop in an intake we're going to go for an in intake fan level two so it to, it cleans better. So we're going to have our little drones come across and build it up. And I believe we need to increase our storage again. So bring up the build menu again. So we go to resource management structures and then we're going to go for a 
tier three. Yeah, tier three. And we've just had a message from the mothership. During our initial exploration of Vanar, our scouts encountered an unusual alien life form. This organism is only marginally intelligent, but it does pose a great danger to our colony as it can attach to our buildings and grow very quickly. We call it the creep. Our research team analyzed the threat and quickly devised a special drone that can cleanse the creep from infected structures. I'm now uploading the schematics for those scrubber drone stations directly to your colony governance system. I recommend building one as soon as possible. Our scanners have detected several creep spores heading toward the nearby lake, and an infestation is highly likely in the near future. Okay, so we've just been informed that there is an alien life form that attaches to buildings and it affects them. So now we have to take the precaution of uh, protecting our colony against this particular um, alien life form. So we have to bring up the build menu again. Only this time we have to go to the drone management structures. So we're going to drone management structures and we now have police drones and then we have scrubber drones. So we have to have a tier one first. So we're going to have a tier one first. We're going to pop that somewhere in a populated area that's blocks there so let's put it there we can increase the grip the build speed and then we should get all the way down so now what i have now what i want to do is i want to see the range of this thing and it doesn't cover enough not by a long shot which means we need two all right so we go back again and this time we're gonna have uh, another one so we can pop that there <coughs> and as you can see creep spores detected so we can go to them see where they are and then they come okay so if I'm right we can have a plasma turret which can stop any unsavories If we have one there, uh, we go to defense again. We can have another one which goes next to the scrubber drones. We can protect that there. So, hopefully, then by the time these are built, we should be in a position to defend ourselves. There we go. See, there it goes. so we can upgrade that one so whilst our plasma turrets are doing the job they're supposed to do which is keeping the alien life form at bay we can continue to build on with the colony okay so all right so now we can research this one Okay, so we need to export 500 Xenoblow. I think you're on track to win this referendum, but here's the feedback I've compiled from your citizens. Thank you. Thank you. Right, okay. So, we need to export 500 Xenoblow, which means we need somewhere to manufacture this. So where does it say we have to manufacture this stuff? I'm gonna say the chemical plant, We've got Cerulean Glow, and then we have Xeno Glow, so we can make that one. All right, let's make it gold blue. Uh, lowest productivity by two. No, my quick. Hmm, nope. I need corn syrup, which means I need to grow corn. So if we change a greenhouse. Where's the mill? There's the mill. I need corn. All 
right so we changed one to grow corn so now we can actually start making corn syrup uh, which means we could also uh, now start to produce soda however what we're going to do is we're going to increase the water intake so we're going to have a water pump tier two so it's going to be really dark so we're going to end up putting it as close as we can so let's put it Ah, 25.1. Okay, so we'll put one there. Five. I'd go as far as to put two. So now we're going to have plenty of water. Okay, so reach a population of 300, which we're going to be heading for very, very soon. So we need another 44. Um immigrants as they call them not my words so we also need to export farmers and xenoglow and now we have a ooh, now we have to build a retail center ooh, okay all right so let's okay so let's go under the service related all right so what's this one what's the vr center the retail center ah there it is the retail center level one which is we'll put it here or i could put it there Hmm. It needs to be within reach of all the cars, so hey what, let's pop it right there. And now we're building a retail center. Now I can supply retail goods which increases uh, morale a little bit more. However, we still need to get food production up. All right. All right, so. Oh, another new mission has just come through. So we're going to take a look at that one I real quick. A few more service structures would go a long to build a hospital now. Citizens happy. Crikey, they want everything. Okay, so again, it's under the heart, so hospital tier one. Holy shit. All right, so. This will provide service to all these areas. So we may have to put another one in just to be on the safe side, but I need to check the range first. Ooh, incoming message from the ship. Oh wow. This is pretty amazing. Vori, are you on? Jack, where are you? I'm studying the flora just outside the Van Ark colony. I found a strain of plant that closely mimics. So while we're all slaving away on the colony ship, you've been off picking flowers? Uh if by that you mean, has the expedition's only qualified botanist been doing his job? Then, yes. Yes, he has. Here, Euros. Let me send you a picture of this flower. Yes. I cannot wait to see this plant. It sounds amazing. Oh, man. You are gonna love this picture of my flower, Euros. It's got these two big, fat, pink petals on it. Jack, you just hoarded a picture of your butt to the entire colony ship. I... wait. What? Jack, how many times do I have to remind you? Guy sent a picture of his ass. Ship wide. You go, boy. But, no way. You gotta be. No! I meant to send that just to Euros. <laughs> Instant karma. That's it. I'm suspending your use of Twirtle until further notice. It was a completely innocent mistake, really. I meant to scan the flower, and I must have pointed the scanner the wrong way. I'm also recommending immediate disciplinary action. Sorry about all this, Governor. Hang on. I'm taking the call offline while I delete that twerk. All right, Jack. I deleted that twerk. You can explain yourself to Commissioner Veronica later. In the meantime, perhaps you'd like to introduce yourself to the new colony governor of Vanar. Are you serious? The governor is in on this call? Yes, Jack. And you're lucky the governor didn't get that twerk. Oh, man. You're a living legend from old Earth. Um, what did you say your name was again? I don't think you'll get much information. 
So the governor is the silent type. They say you were the mayor of New York City and helped rebuild it after the war. I am honored to be working with you. The governor is not your boss, Jack. You don't need to brown nose. I'm not brown nosing, I'm schmoozing. There's a difference. Oh, not the stupid dancing gorilla again. I know you love the dancing gorilla for <laughs> Oh, that is cool. I got the little dancing gorilla with a rock as a sombrero. You go, right monkey now. boy. Don't worry, We're not all as uptight as Bori here. Some of us have a sense of humor. Shake it, monkey. Shake it. Other than protocol, mission objectives <laughs> from time to time. Jack, this call is over. Please don't make me add insubordination to the report I'm filing for the commissioner. Thanks for proving my point, Bori. Jack Torren, signing off. All right, so as you can see, they throw in a little bit of humor just to keep you a little bit more entertained than while you're just building, which I like it. I mean, that was cool. The guy sent a picture of his ass ship wide. Why not? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need to get food production up. Hmm. All right, so I kind of need, I need to double my food uh, and so they have, you know, a lot more food. So as it currently stands, I've got, okay. So 265 people eat 35.3 food per hour. That's on average. Okay, so I've got five greenhouses, three farms. In the winter, they don't grow anything. Which sucks, because they really should. But, you know, hey, I'm not a botanist. So, we need to grow as much as we can in greenhouses so they can grow all year round. All right, so winter's nearly over, which means our farms will kick back in again. Oh, the lightning tower got hit a few times. Congratulations on your referendum. And I want a referendum boss. again. Alright, not by much, but Oh, which means I need more police drones. What's this one? Oh, that covers all that. I got one police drone. Alright, so we have to go back into the build menu with the drones. I'm gonna go for a level three. Police drone. Let's go from here. So as long as the thorium generator doesn't run out, we should be good. Right, how much Xenoglow have I got? I've got 519 in the car. All right, so we can set that off. Okay, so our trade vessel will be taking off momentarily. I mean, seriously, like how good do these ships look? I mean, that looks pretty darn cool. We can pick a, we can pick a camera. Howdy, Governor. And you can also get detailed, you know, detailed reports on what each individual colonist is, is uh, thinking what their happiness are is where they live what they're doing where they work so that's, that's pretty good it gives you like so much more oh god so much more in depth all right so where are oh, there's that one there okay so there's no drone in range hmm okay Still no drones in range. Okay, fine. Okay, so our export 500 Xeno Glow Bar is gradually on the fill. So as soon as that's filled up, mission is complete. All right, so we've just been dropped a new one. I have 
have a special assignment for you. Ah, we have to build an Earth History Center. Okay, so this is pretty much the final um, mission for Vanna. So the whole idea would be to build a uh, an Earth History Center. So yeah, so this is ticking along quite nicely. But we're not going to build that just yet. So we're going to carry on with all the like the other little side missions first. I also need to go back to farming and get a tier two farm up again. That's nine, so that's barley, broccoli, corn. Melons. Hmm. Quinoa. Ah, uh, what's this one? Oh, rice. Oh, okay. Okay, so wheat is inedible on its own, but you know. Entari. Calco. Roji, Cory Spores, and Xenosage. Okay, so these ones are, you know, they are native to the planet. Which means they'll grow here. But I need to be able to produce things. So I need more corn. So we'll build that one. Get that one built. Alright, so that's the another greenhouse built. So we can crack on with increased food production, which is sorely needed, I'm afraid to say. So if I somehow have inspired possibly if not not really inspired you to purchase this game and you're looking for something to spend you know a good few hours getting to grips with and then really diving into it to see just how good you can do this i would definitely recommend this game i mean you don't have to take my word for it i mean if, if you have a friend that's got it and they're not really playing it um borrow it you know borrow it um have a look you know, you never know. Oh, I could pick this one up. Hey. Okay, so you do have these pods. Um, so cargo pod is uh, has come from you know the colony ship. Okay, so you can send a drone to go and pick it up. And if you hover over each part, it will tell you what it contains. And right now, this one holds 152 bread, 57 gold, and 55 uh, nanites. So nanite production is in full swing. We're currently up to 343 nanites, which 
is going to be enough to build the history center but i'm not going to build the history center just yet i want to see what other missions they give me because this is really the the first one to test you as such that's a full complement of staff okay so i need Right, I need nano medicines and plague vaccines. Okay, which means I now need research level two. So we're gonna upgrade that. Okay, so we've acquired the cargo pod, and that gives us 152 bread, 57 gold, and 55 nanites. Okay, so we definitely need more food because we seem to be in the minus figures, whereas the water is in the plus figures. <laughs> Which means hopefully if I go to the mill or the chemical plant. Right, actually, if I upgrade that, um, I can now make corn syrup. Which means I can then make soda. So if I have corn syrup, ooh, I can make this one. Ah, what's this? Oh, increases health but causes drowsiness so if you have each one of these um there are pros and cons to each one the object is you literally just have to weigh each one and see which one works better for you so do you want if you want to increase health um the knock-on effect of that one using gold bloom is that it decreases the product the, your, your workers productivity but only by two percent and i don't know if two percent is a lot in this game because i don't really use Enhancers, I try to steer clear of them. So, which means now I can make corn syrup because I got a whole load of water. And it looks like we're about to run out of a little bit more storage. So it's a shame you can't allocate uh, resources to different warehouses because it just stores everything. So, but what I haven't put in yet is the VR center, which allows for um, like a bit of R and R for colonists, which allows their morale to boost gradually on its own. But you can also set a policy where VR gaming is free, which I like. So let's ink. We have to increase the storage. We don't really get much of a choice. Okay, so let's go to resource management, and we're going to opt for a storage depot level three. It doesn't really matter where these are because they don't require any workers. They are actually fully autonomous. So. And we only need another 17 um, immigrants for our population to reach 300 to complete that milestone, which hopefully should give us another mission.
So that puts us nearly at population 300 to complete that submission. We're nearly almost at export 500 uh, Xenoglobe to coincide with completing that side mission. So, but we need a boatload more nanites if we're going to build an Earth History Center. So I think the idea would be to just plot along until we can finally build the uh, the Earth Research Center. Well, the Earth, Earth History center uh, food is on the well I would say food is on the up and up but the green number is actually going down due to because of the fact that it's winter so we'll consume more food in the winter then hopefully that should go back up um, when we get out of the winter Okay, so that's the population of 300 um, side mission finished. And it seems we have a new mission, so we're going to go ahead and have a look at that. We'd like you to increase the colony's population. Oh, there's a shocker. So increase it to 400. Let's get winter. We need to get winter out of the way. we can start um, getting stuff for the consumer so we can have uh, 150 rations there's already 401 in the, uh, the retail center so now we can have hollow units so they can be distributed from the retail center to increase happiness uh, this one can be also be dispatched through. Oh, we can have Zorium for twenty five Zorium. I'll take some of that for now.
So my dispensary is now out of Stargler, which means I now have to produce more. Which means I need to change another farm to Xenosage. So that should give us more Xenosage. But it also means we have to increase food production again. So we're going to have to go back into the farming sub-tab. And hit the farm tier 3. greenhouse So we need a grand total of 420 nanites to build the Earth History Center. Well, we're not near that yet. So we're going to go ahead and just upgrade storage depots and everything else for the time being. But we've had no confirmed reports of this alien life form that attaches itself to the structures because our scrubber drones have already got rid of it. But remember guys, if you like this particular content or you like games like this um, and you think they're interesting, well, why not leave a thumbs, give it a thumbs up to show that you like the video. If you want to see more episodes from Maven Colony, uh, why not consider subscribing and turn on your bell notifications. That way you will never miss another episode when I go live. But as always, the choice is yours. So our current subscriber count is at 51, which is amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for that. So I want to grow. I want to continue to grow. I want to keep bringing you content, which I love to do. And hopefully you guys either find it entertaining or informative. And that's why I keep doing it. However, I hope you guys are enjoying this because I like playing. I like playing these types of games. They actually kind of test you. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it tests you, but they actually do. So,
But just because I'm playing uh, this game for the time being does not mean I won't be going back to take a look at some of my other ones. I still have the, uh, the Lost Island map on Ark Survival Evolved to go through. So that'll end up being a series all in itself. There's also um, on the 18th of February, so um, next Friday, there will I will be uh, live streaming the next installment of uh, the Horizon series. So that'll be Horizon Forbidden West. So that will be coming. So hopefully you guys can tune in for that one. So I'll go live for that one, but I will I'll post more. Um, in uh, in the days to come. At least our turrets are doing their job, so that was alright. Alright, so we need to increase um, storage yet again. So we go to the storage, and we're going to choose a level 3 storage depot again. So you'll, what you'll do is you'll find yourself putting a lot of storage down. So the more food you produce, the more resources you produce, you will find yourself putting down excessively large amounts of storage. Well, that's fine. 
you know, the more storage you have, the better it is. Oh, I don't know, the overview again. Overworld. Okay, so what is this? What is that? What is that? Oh, wait a minute. Is that a shard storm? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hmm. So we literally just have to wait for it to hit. I mean, this is quite uh, quite a sizable colony right now. So we currently have 328 residents of the Vanar colony, which is a far cry from what we started, for which we had about 32, I think. But, uh, no, seriously, I want to know what you guys think of this game. I know it's old. It's been out for a while. I know, I know this. You know this. I know this. But, um, be good to get a, a fresh perspective. Plague spores, where are you? Ah. Oh, well, you're not going to get anywhere near because I got me uh, some big old security turrets. I mean, look at that shit. You want to mess with that? Fine, be my guest. But it's going to blow your ass out of the sky. Just like that. Boom. Boom, gone. Look at that. See? Gone. Oh, hello. Huh, cool. Right, I need to put a drone hub here. Well, a singular drone hub. Where we can actually pick up. Hopefully pick up this box. Amaranthium. Hmm, okay. Sounds like a metal, but it's actually a drink. some point what you're gonna find is that you're gonna like fuck something up along the way um and you'll have uh like protests and riots and stuff like that which is really cool in its own little way but it's also very very bad for your colony so as right, so we picked up the cargo pod ooh, so we've got 100 nanites which allows us to build more uh quinoa which helps with all oh, the food and stuff like that and then amaranthium which is another booster so if we go to the chemical plant, so let's bring up the chemical plant. So amaranthium. Okay, so it's a nutrient enriched enhancer drink. It increases health slightly and also increases happiness by up to 1% requires a dispensary. So let's make an absolute shit ton of amaranthium. That way, all of our people will be happy. So now we've got corn syrup made, we can actually make soda and we can now make star glow. Oh, I haven't got any entire um, or got, oh, I can start making gold bloom, I suppose, but it decreases. You want you want to make stuff that doesn't decrease anything. So Amber Joy. OK, so that reduces health. Uh, bless increases happiness by up to nine percent but damages health and productivity and increases crime requires a dispense okay so increases crime so technically it's like space crack so you'll take that and then you're not you'll basically want to keep taking it and you'll basically 
become a criminal just so you can get at it. So I'm not even going to bother making that one. Because that'll go straight to the dispensary. And Amber Joy. So Cerulean Glow. An enhancer that increases social compliance. Uh, reduces the colony's crime rate. Ooh. All right, Tony. Okay, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make some Intari. Nope. Nope. I want Intari. I need Intari. There we go. So base production is 140 percent. So that's above. Um, nominal uh, yield for this on this particular farms. Oh, in comes the shards. Right, we bring up the colony menu. So we go to power and policies. Okay, so drone auto repair. So we've got that set. Okay, so that's between 8 and 12 per sol. Uh, we can also have the the drone boost and the plasma boost increases plasma turret firing speed reduces the retard's time between shots by 50 percent this drains power from energy batteries while active so if we have batteries uh we can conserve energy from what we have um a lightning storm so if we have an excessive amounts of batteries. Uh, oh, nanite processor. Oh, hello. Stage two. So if I have one of those, we could reduce double the amount of nanite, but it will absolutely wreck my resources. Okay, so we have the research and research center tier two, and then there's the artifact containment unit. So on this planet, when you go through the various other campaigns, you'll find that you have to pick up artifacts. Now, in order to bring them back to your uh, colony for study you need an artifact containment unit and then you also have mega structures so we have the history center and the stadium so this okay so this is the stadium so it requires 45 nanites to use it um requires 90 power and 21 people to operate it. God damn it, that must be huge. Well, it probably is huge. But, you know, fine. Oh, what was this? What have we just researched? Oh, the scrubber boost. Oh, there we go. See? Because the drones are on auto repair, there they went. They just went and repaired some stuff. Oh, what's this one up? Alright, we can upgrade that. The scrubber drone. And this one. So we can upgrade that. So we have a full complement of staff. And we can also upgrade it too. So you know where your boundaries are because the, the cursor will stop at a boundary. So we can fit some things in here. However, I'm going to recommend that I put some more batteries in. Okay, so batteries tier one. Okay, so batteries tier, tier two. So we can have a whole host of these. And they don't actually require anything. They just require nanites to keep, uh, to keep going. So if we have it active, um, if we have some of the boosts active, it will take power from these battery cells. However, where is the light? Is it? Yeah. Okay, so show the range. Okay, that just about covers everything. Not quite sure if it covers everything, but we can always put another one in to make sure that we're adequately protected from the lightning, because I don't think these structures over here are protected by it. Right, so 
yeah, so here's the lightning tower. We zoom out all the way, highlight the lightning tower, and then show the range. Yeah, see, we're going to need another one. So we go to the, no, not there. Uh, so defense, okay, so defense, you got a lightning tower. So, which means we can put one there. And we can put one, oh, that's drones. Defense, okay, another one. So that should give us now ample um, coverage from the storm so the lightning will hit only hit the rods and that will charge our four sets of batteries which will enable us to run uh, the boosts or say the Zorium runs out we can actually use those batteries to power the colony to keep it functional until we can build um, additional power sources. So now we have to increase our storage yet again okay so resource management tier three storage so the more it's typically the more storage you have the better you do but winter is upon us again which means the power drops slightly um and the food count goes into the minus figures I've got a thousand calco sludge in there. Because typically speaking, once we build the, the Earth Research, the Earth History Center, the Vanar campaign mission is done. And I, well, I don't want to drag it out, but I want to show you probably everything that this first colony has to offer. So you get the, the idea of what to expect if you decide to go and pick this up.
So we're currently making Amber Joy, Nanomeds, Plague Vaccines, Soda, and Xenoglow. They all have um, none or positive side effects, which is kind of what we need right now. But that means I also need to increase my food production once again. some broccoli. Alien broccoli. Hmm. I've never thought of that one. I mean, so I try and do um, as many um, videos as my timing will allow me so my uh, my work schedule is pretty hectic i mean i start at six in the morning which means i have to be up at five after the house by 20 pounds so i don't really get a lot of time to do videos but i do try the potash is gone well crap okay Okay, so there's 900 potash remaining. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, we've got some more spores coming. I also need an expedition center so I can actually go to these things. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if we could do everything literally on the first colony. But no, I would definitely say to you guys, if you want to, if you want a game that you can just chill on, or um, you know, like really challenge yourself, um, I would pick this up. I mean, I don't know off the top of my head how much it was going to be. Um, you can have a look in the, the PlayStation Store if you want to buy it digitally. You can look in any of your local retailers that sell um, games, so like um, game. Uh, you know, like your local supermarkets, places like that. They may have it on a disc. Also, you could probably find it in secondhand shops. Um, if that's, you know, where you want to find it. We can go on and on and on about the pros and cons of this game. 
Like some people would say it's, it's too boring, it takes too long. But that's me like, well, that's a good thing. But yeah, it's longevity, which means it, it takes longer, which means you have to put more thought into it. I mean, like, these are actually quite an enjoyable experience for me. I don't know about you guys. If you guys find these games enjoyable, then um, leave a comment. Let me know what you actually think about it. It'd be good to get other people's opinions. So as long as you don't just, you know, leave like two words like it's shit or, you know, or it's like crap. So, you know, last year or whatever the term is, I'm not all up on it. I'm nearly 40. So. But likewise, if you um, console share with a friend and they have it, uh, check it out. You know, really definitely check it out. spores on the way again. Never mind, my guns will take care of that wherever they may be. That's the good thing about having uh, defensive turrets. They will pretty much shoot anything out of this guy. Which is a good thing. immigration oh that's cool okay so we're now up to 355 um, immigrants as they call it uh, which means we also need to increase uh, the air uh, filtering system air filter level three that requires level two right okay fine okay so that's going down okay so again Let's put another one um, here. But if you guys, if you, you'll see what I mean now. Look, so you have to actually physically clean the air for your uh, for your residents. I don't want to call them immigrants, so we'll call them residents because that's where they live. Okay, and Star Glow is gone. All right, so we need to make more Star Glow. Where's my ah there no nope, storage okay chemical plant okay so star glow oh that could disappear I'm not making any of that oh bugger that mate no chance okay so we need to make more nano measures in case people get ill play vaccines are fine for now um, soda we can keep that xeno glow we can definitely keep that. Gold bloom. No. Corn syrup. We make we can make corn syrup. Amaranthium. So we'll keep that. Uh, where's the mill? Here's the mill. Okay, so now we can actually start making um, candies. However, um, we can make consumer stuff now. So if I put in another um, nanite processor so we'll put it that's, that's blocked that's blocked that's blocked that's blocked blocked okay so we'll put it up by here thank you for everything as closely connected as possible if they if they don't like the distance that they have to travel to get to work um why not put um why not put in some you know some of them floating cars like i have you put some stations in and it makes getting around a lot easier so these things, hover car stations. And there's another one here. Now look, we need more storage again see you'll find yourself with a lot of storage like you'll probably find you'll have more storage than you know what to do with 
but because they're automated, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, thank you guys for those that are leaving um, comments. Unfortunately, my, my Russian is non-existent. Or if that is indeed Russian, I'm not sure. I don't know. But uh, thank you guys for leaving the comments, even though there are only six letters that don't seem to form across, uh, you know, a, uh, a decent sentence. I have no idea. We've added yet another storage facility just to increase our storage just a little bit more. And our food seems to be increasing rapidly, so that's fine. And you can always try putting like more farms in, more greenhouses. Right, no, let's go for another farm. So we'll have a farm tier three. You can always put it just there and then have it connected Cycle both of those and make sure that our farms are in place. So this one is what are you growing? Broccoli, no, no, no. Antari. So we'll grow Antari. I mean, you can even see everything growing on the farms and what they look like. I mean, it's actually pretty, pretty amazing. Now, what is this? Oh, it's a storage module. We could actually start knocking these out one by one if we wanted to. But I've never had to knock, I've never had to knock these out, so... But we still got a long ways to go before we can build the uh, the Earth History Center. I mean, even if you guys don't really like this particular game, copper. Good God. Hello. Let's mine that shit. So now we actually can uh, increase our nanite production even more because we now have a uh, a third resource that was to turn into nanite. And the shards are back. Whoa, full complement of staff. That is going to be good for business. Alright, so we can actually, now we can actually um, produce copper. We can allow copper. It's 10% faster. But, you know, hey. Now we can quite literally just watch our uh, nanite production increase. So having the auto repair drone, uh, drones auto repair is actually a huge time saver. Otherwise, you, like say you have over five, six hundred units, um, and they get some of them get damaged, but you you won't find them because you've got five hundred to choose from. So my recommendation would be when you can first set your policies um, in order to have um, drones repair. It only costs you between eight and twelve per sol. Then uh, that's a good thing to choose. It's a very good thing to choose. 
That way then you don't have to run around messing around trying to find the building that's damaged and then repair it and, you know, and all that jazz. You can actually just, you can just be left to just crack on. As you can tell, our population is growing steadily. Uh, we're currently at 373 residents. And our nanite production is practically in full swing. So what I might do is actually get rid of this one. So if I recycle that, we can put in another uh, nanite production facility. So we'll just drop that in there. Love it, it's like synchronized swimming, but it's synchronized building. So now we can have full complement of staff, and now we can do, increase our nanites even further. But I can't stress enough, um, if you have farms, they, nothing will grow on them during the winter part of each soil. Insufficient power, jeez. Oh yeah, because it was winter. Let's speed winter up, shall we? So we still have insufficient power. However, as soon as winter is gone, um, the power should spike back up to over a thousand unless I can put in some more wind turbines which I might do actually around the thorium generator so if we put in what's this one thorium generator level two oh hello so what's this one I can generate it so it puts up 143 more max power however that will technically destroy our uh, nanite reserves but bugger it I need a and they're clocking up quite rapidly right now. We can now get rid of that. Why do you keep what? Some of these buildings have an upkeep. Hmm. Right. Oh, we have a new mission. So, do we win the referendum? Good no, news. Referendum. Okay. Your citizens seem happy with your performance, and I think you have a good chance to win this referendum. Okay. We'd like oh, you yeah. to expand your colony's population. Of course, they always wanted to increase the population, but we need air first. So if you look at all the green, all the green. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's that built, so that's alright. Dropped off another nine. Okay, so I need more storage again. Now we just need to get winter out of the way again. Insufficient housing, Jesus Christ. Wow. Skyscraper tier one. Go here. And there it goes. Wow, what happened to the storage? Congratulations on your referendum victory, boss. Food is climbing rapid again, which is good news. Morale is happy, we're fully oxygenated, so that's fine. And our nanites are slowly, steadily climbing.
Hm. Definitely running out of nanites and fast. Hmm.
No idea what that sound is. Skyscraper has literally just fallen down. Oh dear. Excuse me. Huh. Let's shut down the immigration for now. Let's shut down for now so there's no more immigrants coming in. seem to be going very well right now, does it?
don't feel so good. When do we want it now? Oh, you got a hospital, is there? Damn it, that was the damn trade hub. Deactivate the immigration center. Right, okay, so trade up. Let's open the UI. Hmm. Track yeah. to win this referendum, but here's the feedback I've compiled from your citizens. <coughs> oh, well, this is gone from bad to us. Producing any allies. Oh, God damn it.
<laughs> Congratulations on your referendum victory, boss. Whoa, where did they just go? Excuse me. Well, you can see just how horribly wrong this game can go. Everything's breaking down, my nanite seems to be disappearing, things are breaking.
these because there's no way to store them so they get destroyed.
Sometimes, with how hard it is to get around in this colony. This is. I'm just gonna close my eyes and hope this goes away. Right, so we're gonna try and get everything repaired as this went absolutely tits up in the space of about 30 seconds and I've been trying to sort it for the past half an hour so hopefully we can get everything repaired in time to take 17 months that's gonna have to wait okay repair most of the structures oh there's a memory one there repair this now 47 that's gonna have to do right okay so that's that fully functioning all right so we're gonna let that tick up a little bit that takes two
actually felt very minimal for repair. Now we can repair that. Ouch. That was expensive. Twenty three for that one. Hopefully, oh, this should buy us at least a little bit more time. But there are things that really need repairing. There's no iron that's recoverable from that, so we might as well recycle it. Almost everything is repaired. It's time for a referendum election. Oh, crap. There's a referendum election coming up soon, and I have some feedback from your colonists.
not too happy with things around here. Well, I was taking care of one. Hi, boss. I've compiled some feedback to help guide you in the upcoming referendum election. That now is everything repaired. So it would seem. Still producing nanites. Okay, so everything now has been literally fully repaired. Well, all right, not everything. Wow. Congratulations on your referendum victory, boss. successfully repaired the Vanar colony <laughs> after it was well it was damn near totaled okay, that took uh, that took some doing all right so if you guys like this video leave a thumbs up hit that like button if you guys want to see more on how I can hopefully save this colony and complete this particular uh, colony then uh, hit that subscribe button turn on your bell notifications that way you will never miss another episode when I go live and hopefully we can avoid more debacles in the future. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more, as uh, I mentioned before, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment as to what you think of this game. Um, whether you want to know how um, some, of the, some of the things work. Uh, how to place things, how to like, you know, like farm materials and stuff like that. Um, what specifics are needed to fulfill certain portions of this game. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon for another episode of Galaxy Adventure. So this is Galaxy Adventure Season 1. The game is Avon Colony. I am the Cake Lord. And I will see you very soon for the next installment of my Galaxy Adventures. So until next time, take care guys, and I'll see you soon. And don't forget, like it, subscribe it, leave a comment, and uh, hopefully we can get more subs. My current count is 51, which is absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to get more, I'm trying to get more, and uh, I really do hope you guys can help me out with that. 
So until next time, this is the K Lord, the 285th survivor from Avon Colony. Signing off. Take care, guys. And I'll see you soon.